How's it going everybody? Rye Brand today and we are back with our New Orleans Admirals franchise mode and I want to say thank you guys so much for uh, sticking with me and those of you that are coming back make sure to leave a like that you're here and I appreciate it. I took that long break because I was moving. I'm in my new setup now and hopefully I get to show you guys my new setup pretty soon. But for now we're here with the New Orleans Admirals in the offseason after what should have been our, our last rough season. From here on out, we're probably going to have a good time, and we're actually going to start winning games, and we can get into this franchise mode and hopefully set records with this expansion draft team. But before we get started, can we get this video to 10 likes? I've been away for a while. I understand. But guys, those of you that still love the channel, I love you guys. Thank you for being such a great member of the Rye Squad. And those of you that aren't yet a member of the Rye Squad, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 4K, and we're trying to hit 4,000 subscribers before the end of the year. It is about to be spring. Let's get to 3,000 by the end of April. We're so close. But here we go, guys. Off-season time. We have quite a few draft picks. So let's go ahead and show you guys our draft board. So... We don't have anybody watch listed, but we do have picks 11 and 16 in the first round. And some of you may be screaming at me to move up, but I think I'm going to stand pat where we are. I mean, we've got, what, two picks in every round for the first four rounds. In the fifth round, we have three. The sixth round, we have four. The seventh round, we have two. I may end up just letting the AI select once we get into the sixth round, unless we identify somebody. But we do not have any top nine forwards or top 12 forwards. Our top six forwards are pretty fine. That trade for Brock Besser this past season... He played well for us at the deadline, 18 points and 18 games played, so you love to see something like that. Cop here has been a staple of the team for a while. He's back. He's got three more years. Malmavara looking great at an 86. Festerini now up to an 86 as well. Uh, Tanner Janot, uh, Radian Amirov, um, Sonny Milano then. So you can see what they mean by we don't really have top nine forwards. We have about, we have a top six, right? Besser, Cop, Malmavara, Festerini, right? Those three guys can all kind of slot on the first line. Nobody's really quite a first line forward except for Besser. He's pretty much locked in there. But Cop, Malmavara, Festerini, they're guys that, well, Malmavara and Festerini are going to grow. Cop probably will shift to the second line when that does happen. So we'll have a first line of Festerini, Malmavara, and Besser. So I'll be very, very pleased with that. And then Cop, Jano, and Amirov, again, very fine. But we need to find those guys that are going to step in soon to be on that third line. And well, Christian Stromberg is one of those guys that we're hoping does end up taking a step. He is medium elite as well. But after him, there's not really too much else we have. We've got uh, Fabian Lysel here who could grow to be a third line goal scorer for us. But really no exciting players uh, for us. You can see our, our potentials here. We sort by it. That's about it, right? Panamarov maybe can grow into that for us. Uh, Johansson here, Person, but really nothing there. Take a look defensively. Well, it, uh, we do kind of need some top six defenders, right? Our top four, neutral again, right? We're solid. Gerard Bear, good. Gonchar Mete. Gonchar up to an 82. He's going to help us out with that middle pairing. He's been on the top pairing, you know, if you're just looking at overalls. Uh, Bear will help us out on the second pairing. It's probably going to be Gerard and Gonchar again, and Mete and Bear. Probably want somebody else, though. We don't exactly have a ton of defenders in the system, right? I know you don't want to draft for need, but at the same time, we kind of need <laughs> some defensemen for the pipeline. Anyway, goaltending, we've got Ottinger here, who is an elite goaltender, backed up by Vitek Venacek, uh, Ryan Precht, and Letton in here. Ryan Precht, medium elite, 72 overall, good enough to be a minor league starter for us um, as the game crashes. So let's go ahead and hop back in there. I'm glad nothing happened. We're back, guys. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know why the game crashed. I guess it just doesn't like draft board, but we won't take a look. We've got plenty of medium elite goalies. We don't need to go after them. Um, in this draft class, I, I think we'll be fine. But taking a look at what we do know, we do know there are quite a few medium elites on the board. Now, this is Tugi's roster, so a lot of good potential players uh, in this draft. I, I'm going to trust that a lot of these medium elites are here. Again, don't know about these second rounders here, but we know the picks around us are going to be good. Uh, Eddie, Eddie McIver here, the left defenseman, could be somebody we go after in the middle rounds. Apparently, they, he's right around our pick. So we'll figure it out, but let's go ahead and jump in. I know it's been a while, guys. So let's go ahead and get to the draft. Advance the day. Don't care about the interviews. Let's go ahead and get it done. Start the NHL entry draft, and the first overall pick is going to be Stepan. Martin Stepan, medium elite, 80 overall center, sniper with a pretty good shot. Looks pretty well-rounded off the get-go. The next pick by the Arizona Coyotes is Zetterberg. Alexander Zetterberg, the 18-year-old, 5'9 only. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think players grow. I don't think they get taller. So I think once they're drafted, they never grow. I mean, 
I guess he's what 18. He's probably not going to grow. The weight I think should increase. I think the weight should fluctuate. Um, I think it'd be pretty fun to see some guys maybe come in overweight. I think that'd be funny. Uh, and their speed decreases because of it. But, you know, just, just a couple things for my franchise mode wish list. If you guys want to see that video, let me know in the comments section. Let me know what you want to see in next year's franchise mode, too, because I already got a list of ideas, and I'm going to make a video on it now that I'm back. I can't wait to start pumping out content again. The summer's going to be fun. Got MLB The Show coming out as well. If you guys want to see some franchise modes over on another game, we can do that as well. But let's go ahead and pick to get to pick number 11, where we really... Oh, wow, it drops off after 6. Looks pretty... Pretty, yeah, like a pretty steep decline. Yeah, 71 medium elite for Kibaharu, but let's take a look at what we can get. We can get L Len Cardwell here. Uh, looks very good sniper. He's NHL ready. He is NHL ready for a fact. We do know that, and that guy's potentially four years away. Zachary Carter, also listed as NHL ready. A potential sniper uh, here is just got a character concern, but he's got a great shot. Cardwell here is a winger, sniper. Uh, Carter is another. So they're both left wingers. Okay, one's Canadian, one's American. How old are they? They're both about the same age. Six foot two, six foot one. Both pretty strong. I mean, Cardwell here, probably a sniper. Looking probably, actually, he's got no weaknesses either. I like to see that. Angelo Lucic here is one year away. Uh, Yuri Kozlov is one year away. And then Pat Marr is two years away. So he could be somebody we take with our next pick. I think I will just go ahead and decide between Carter or Cardwell. Len Cardwell here looks pretty good. Senses are a B, maybe. We don't know enough about him. Potentially A+, plus, but balance cycle, balance, balance, and crash the net. And then we've got uh, balance, balance, energy, balanced overload. So at least we'll get the overload here. So we'll, we'll take Len Cardwell. Welcome to the New Orleans Admirals. A 78 overall medium elite two-way forward who's got a pretty good shot off the get-go and man when they said he was NHL ready they weren't kidding he is very well-rounded he is very very good looking here uh six foot two he's got the yoink x-factor ability he's got be uh, beauty backhand shut down tape to tape elite edges and quick pick so a very very good first round pick there I am pretty stoked about that now we have a pick here at 16 let's see who goes in between those picks did we pass on anybody too good Lucic is only a medium top six. Carter's only a medium top six. And Marks is also a medium top six. So we got Cardwell, the best player that was still on the board at the time. And now it's time to take a look at who else is still available for us. Pat Marr here. He's two years away. He's five foot eight, but he's potentially an X factor for us. There's so many forwards here. There's not a lot of defensemen. I think I just kind of got to take a three bar NHL ready John Menard here. A little lower. He's NHL ready, maybe. <sighs> do we take him or do we take... Oh, man, this is interesting. Pat Marr is two years away, maybe. They could both be one year away. I kind of want to go Pat Marr just because he's ranked a bit higher. I think I've got to do it. He looks like an offensive defenseman to me with the way he, that they're talking about him. I like it. I do want to see where uh, Menard ends up. Uh, Skilank... Siklank... Sik Siklenka, yeah, okay, Siklenka, uh, but where John Monard ends up is something I want to see. He is six foot three, two oh nine. Do we reach on him because he looks pretty good? He doesn't have a good shot utilization or good teammate utilization, but I think we are going to take Pat Marr. He is just ranked higher, and we'll see what we get. We get an offensive defenseman who's seventy two and medium top four, so he is a defenseman of the future. Very excited with that magnetic and thunder clap. Pretty well rounded already. He's an offensive defenseman, as I had suspected. Five foot eight. Can't wait to see him come up here uh, and do some great things for us. He's definitely on the horizon here. Sex Smith, not good. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly advance here so we can see how uh, what we passed up with John Menard. Um, let's go ahead. Sim options. Sim the pick here. Okay, J J Gillies, Gillies, uh, Otter Eyes. Oh my goodness, some of these names I'm not used to seeing these. Devoe. Uh, Ch Chiodo? Uh, let's see. Where, where is, where's John Menard? Come on, let's get to John Menard. I wish I could advance, like, quicker. Is there, like, a, like the X button? Give me a button that I can push. There he is. He is low, low elite. Ooh, he is a very good def defensive defenseman. Low elite, though. You never know if that's gonna pan out, but he is rated higher. He's got his own ability. He's gonna be a good player. So we might have missed out on one there, but I'm certainly not upset, um, with our pick here. Uh, it is Mar, Pat Mar. So Pat Mar, gonna be a good player. 
Um, very excited about that one as well. But here we go. Second round, Harding, Joe Harding. Uh, maybe NHL. This guy is one year away. We know uh, We know Radislav Krzyzczyk is one year away. We know that for a fact. Two years away here, two years, three years, one year maybe? Probably not. Let's be real. Um, two bar medium elite. He's probably not medium elite. I don't want to chance it. Um, let's go ahead here up at the top. I think Harding. Joe Harding is two, two bar. Oh, Chris Jack. Radislav Chris Jack. Looks good. I'm going to take him. He's one year away. Let's see what we get. Uh, 73 overall. Medium top six. Radislav Chris Jack. Another great pick now he's got to work on his passing but he's got the senses if he can get the passing down he's gonna be a darn good player and he's somebody that i could also sign for the ahl and play right away considering where did he come where did he come from he came from the extra liga so i might sign him and just play him in the, in, in the minors uh for the burnaby aces uh that original team there augustini is five years away uh but he is looking pretty nice we'll keep look scrolling through here i won't just jump on the first thing i got Two years away for Vyacheslav Alexandrov. I like that a lot. I do like it. He's got he's a leader. Doesn't seem to have many uh, weaknesses, so we will take him. He's low top four. That is that's not what you want to see. That's that's not a great pick. Anyway, we will continue here. Yuri Plekanov. Uh, let's actually sort by potential. Do we know any potentials here? McIver, potential enforcer. Uh, Dakota McCarran. Three years away, he's got good puck skills, bad senses, though. I mean, these guys are one-bar medium elite. We don't really know almost anything about these guys. Goddard is potentially, you know what? We're going to take Kelly Goddard, right? It's a little bit of a reach, but we'll see where how it pans out. And it's going to turn out pretty good. A low top six two-way forward. So many two-way forwards in this draft class. Holy smokes. Uh, but taking a look here, we've got Tristan Kim potentially to take. I think we might take McIver now. I think McIver at 99... You know, we got, excuse me, the opportunity to take him here. Eddie McIver, welcome to the team. What is he? End of the third round. He is, oh, uh, he's not good. He's not good. But we took the shot. Why not? Uh, we're in the fourth round here. We'll take our fourth round picks. Um, Jakob Volka, you know what? Two bar low elite. Let's take him. I'm going to take him. He is a low top nine. So, Again, not a bad pick, especially in the fourth round. But here we go. This will probably be our last pick that we actually make. Jason Manning, we got no idea. Five years, five years. Uh, we don't know anything about these guys down here. Five years, I might just sim. Uh, actually, let's take a look at who what the overalls are. Or these. Uh, no, he's way too late in the draft. Uh, Jack Chichu, four-year way goalie, 150 overall. He's supposed to go. We'll take him. We haven't taken a goalie in this draft. Chichu is a medium fringe starter, and that's all I'm going to do for this one. We're just going to keep moving forward here, guys. Um, a lot of picks, a lot of players coming into the system here, uh, and we're going to sim to the resign phase. Who needs a contract? The AHL staff needs a contract. Most of our scouts need a contract, uh, and Radian Amirov needs a contract as well. So let's see how much cash space we have, and we'll deal with that. So we have $40 million in cap space. Brock Besser wants to resign with us. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Good Lord, he wants a lot for a long time. Uh, we can just stretch it out. We'll give him seven and a half. We'll give him, a, I guess, another bridge deal. Get him till he's 29. See how he plays for us, right? He played well, but we'll see. Uh, Amirov, who's an 84 now, looks very nice with his high top six. Uh, if we could get him for five years, four years at five million, I would do that for sure. Four years at five million there. So go ahead, offer him that. Victor Mete. Okay, now we're going to start working our way from the crease out. Uh, letting in probably not Ryan. Pre <sighs> well, we will sign Ryan Preck to his ELC. Do we get Lebedev? Do we give him? A okay. Uh, apparently, this game just loves to crash now. Apparently, I should be saving more frequently. This is This is EA. I can't even play franchise mode. I can't just offer contracts. What the, what is going on? Anyway, I will catch up with you guys. Hopefully we don't have to redo the draft. Otherwise, I may just catch you up on what happens after the fact. I hope it auto saved after the draft because that is gonna be brutal. Um, let's go ahead here, hop into franchise mode, load. When's the last one that saved? I'm hoping it's sometime, it's June 22nd five minutes after the last one 
meaning it didn't save the draft. Okay, we didn't make any trades, which is good. There we go. It's all glitched out, our logo's glitched. I absolutely love it, absolutely fantastic job, EA. Let's go ahead, sim to our 11th pick. We're gonna take Cardwell again. There we go. There's Cardwell. We know we got Cardwell. Going to pick 16. Uh, I'm not gonna change it. We're gonna take Pat Marr. Um, oh, I guess Festerling was there, but I'm not gonna switch up what we were doing. In the second round, we took uh, Chris Deck. It's nice to know that they're mostly still there. Sim to our next pick, pick 60. Who do we take at pick 60? Um, uh, Vyacheslav Alexandrov. We definitely took him. He's, I'm not going to try and switch up too much here based on what we did. Things might have to change uh, based on what... We took a guy who was projected to go 87. Kelly Goddard we took. Uh, I remember that. Sim to pick 99. We took Eddie at this pick, I believe, because uh, he was a goaltender. Uh, Volkov, no. it wasn't. Was it Volkov? No, I don't think it was Jacob Volkov. Actually, it might have been Jacob Volkov. I think we took Volkov here. Uh, that's a name I remember, and then we took Eddie with the next pick. So Volkob, uh, we took him. Sim to next pick, pick 110. Eddie McIver is our next pick, and then I'm pretty sure I just kind of simmed it out uh, after Eddie McIver. Actually, no, we had one more pick, pick 130 here. At the end of the fourth round, uh, we took... Um, I mean, we can take Jason Peacock. I don't exactly remember who we did take. I'm pretty sure I took a goalie. Uh, Taro Salmanen. I did take a goalie for sure. It wasn't Stevenson because I knew something about the goalie. Uh, I know it's been just like a couple minutes for you guys, but for me, I uh, it's been seconds. Anyway, we'll take this guy. Why not? Sim options. Sim entire draft. There we go. We are now done with our draft. We got most of the important guys we got back. Uh, I will save the game so that if it crashes it, during the resign phase, we can get back into it. But here we go. Game saved successfully. Sim to the re-sign phase. Let's get it underway. There's all the coaches, all the scouts, and there we go. So, let's see. Brock Besser. Uh, two years at 7.5 is what we offered. 7.5. Offer him that. Then, Radian Amirov. I qualified him. We will go ahead and offer him a contract. I think it was, what, four years at 5 million I offered him as well. We will go back to goaltending. Ryan Precht, we will offer him a contract. He will be the AHL starter. All right, guys. I don't know what to tell you, but apparently I'll catch you up after the offseason. I'll try and try and redo it. We already did the draft, but uh, I'll catch you up after I do the re-signings. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do free agency. So, guys... I'm here at the dashboard. I reset my Xbox. I just can't get it to sign a goalie every time. I try and sign, uh, what is it, Ryan Practor, whoever that goalie was. Um, I should know his name because I keep looking at it, but I can't get it to work. So if anybody has any ideas of what to do here, let me know. I'm sorry that this episode is going to end here, but EA, like this, this, just watch this video, please. This this is broken. I can't, you can't. Yeah. Uh, how am I supposed to play franchise bow when I can't even re-sign some of my players, right? I, I can't play it, but you guys can see right there, installed MLB The Show 22. I have a franchise in mind for a franchise mode, so I'm going to transition to that one. And I'll be hopefully doing some more hot content now that I can actually sit down and play the game. Uh, but we'll see how that one works, but I apologize to all the New Orleans Admirals fans. If anybody has a fix, please let me know because I don't want the fix to be... The game is just, it, we can't go anywhere because we finally turned the corner and I was very excited to play with that team. Hopefully you guys have an answer or a fix. I'm looking forward to it. Help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more and I will see you guys in the next one. It's a free for all of them.